Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Katie. Today's video is just going to be a chill, chatty, get ready with me in which I try to actually talk about things that are not just the makeup that I'm putting on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and list everything down below. We're just going to get started and see how this goes. I have a list of topics I want to talk about and everything. So first off, what I would like to talk about is uh, my hair situation which is that it's red because I'm in a show right now and it called for fire engine red hair and this isn't exactly that but it's pretty red especially under stage lights this is the elf eye refresh my eyes are feeling dry and tired from like putting on so much makeup and taking off so much makeup every day so that is why my hair is red that's a good story went to the salon got it done a little wasn't ugly enough so we, well, it was actually really pretty, but so then we had to dye it some more. And I found this Nicole Guerrero video from like years ago, and I used that, and it worked, and I didn't have to bleach my hair at all. And I have very dark hair, as you have seen if you've seen any of my other videos, I have very dark hair, and I didn't have to bleach it to get this. This, oh, it's looking brown over here. It's still wet though, like this is wet, this is wet, but kind of the drier it gets, the redder. The redder it appears. I'm gonna grab this Milani Prime Shield and put this on. But it's a fun show. It's my last college show, which is like kind of terrifying to think about. I can't believe it's been four years and like eight shows here and it just is sad. But it's a really fun show. I'm excited that's this weekend, but that's also why I have not been posting a lot of videos recently. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows right now. I'm trying to think of what else is going on in my life. I feel like my entire life has been this show. Sorry, I just can't concentrate and do brows at the same time. I want to talk about hockey because today is the first playoff game. First day of playoff games, I guess, for the NHL. And of course, my worst nightmare come true once again. The Blackhawks are playing the Blues. My best friend is actually a Blues fan, so like we have fun, but like both of us are just so nervous for this. We couldn't even like make fun of each other. We were just like, I'm scared, terrified, uh, I don't know, I don't know how it's gonna go, but I want them to win so bad, and I get very emotionally attached to them, like, to the point where tonight I'm like, when we're running the show, I have to hide my phone somewhere, I was like, nobody is allowed to tell me the score, I might cry if it's not good. And I'm like not expecting it to be great at this present moment. Like I just, I love them, but I don't have the faith of some because of how the season ended. I'm gonna use this Naked Basics palette, just the first one, and grab the shade Foxy, which is the light yellow shade, and set my primer with that. I have a feeling this video is gonna be so long now that I'm actually trying to talk about things, but I usually run out of things to talk about really quick. Once that is all set in place, I'm gonna take, I think, just this cream shade right here that's like not too dark. I'm like really trying to go light on the eyes today. Oh, that's what I wanna talk about. I started using the, uh, the Garnier Micellar Water, the blue packaging one that's for like, that says it can take off waterproof makeup. I picked it up the other day and I really enjoy it like really nice um, I'm gonna take naked too so a shade darker but it's super nice like I used just a cotton pad and it gets everything off even like heavy stage makeup so props to Garnier for that but I really like this Garnier one and it's cheaper and it's easy to get your hands on here oh this is just a wet and wild palette by the way I'm just taking like the light yellow shade because I kind of want some shimmer on the lids. What else is going down recently? I haven't used this in a long time. This is the Benefit Big Easy BB Cream. I think I'm gonna try it again. Sometimes it can look cakey but I think that we're getting into the like my, we're getting my skin is getting to the point where it's pretty oily so it's not gonna cake up on me just like to apply it like this what else is new in this life um graduation is soon 
and I'm pretty pumped for that. I actually missed this banquet last night for like outstanding senior stuff. I got outstanding senior for theater. <laughs> Great. Um, no, but that was kind of cool thing to get, but I couldn't go because I had rehearsal, but that was fun. But like since everybody's like pictures they were showing and I just got like really crazy nostalgic because like I can't believe that it's been four years that I have been here and now we're all graduating and like moving on and like I'm going to grad school and then I have an interview soon, which I'm pretty pumped about for a hopeful summer job that I would really like to do because it has to do with like box office and ticketing stuff. And it's just like a very exciting time, but then like it kind of sucks because you can't enjoy it because you're just so busy. Like I feel like this could be such a fun time. Like, you know when high school graduation happens, if you haven't experienced it yet, like you'll see, but like the end of the year is so chill because like you're all just like getting ready to go to college or like if people are like just not going to college or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Everyone's like super chill and you have all this time to do everything and you get like days off of school and like, my camera loves to stop filming after like 12 minutes for whatever reason, so I don't know where it cut off, but just putting on the NARS concealer and talking about the craziness of life that is currently happening. I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and set it as is right now. I'm not going to do like super highlighty or anything. That's why I kind of like the eyes because they're super bright already. I've been using this e.l.f. Uh, blush brush to set and I've been liking it. It drops a pretty good amount of product. It's the RCMA No Color Powder. This is actually great if you do theater or whatever. I used it yesterday. I don't bake typically but I like baked my makeup before the run and it lasted like really well even with me like dancing and sweating and being kind of gross. Uh, it really set it very well like yeah, but I just don't have time to bake. Now we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about the travesty and the the travesty and the ridiculousness that is this color correcting trend that is currently uh, plaguing the world. I don't like it. I don't know. Like I get okay, I get if you need it, but I feel like the majority of people doing this crazy color correcting and I mean do what you want. I don't care like no one's even gonna be able to tell but like it's like these expensive products that people are buying that have skin like mine and it's like yes I do have redness had to erase more again what was I talking about color correcting color correcting don't like don't like it don't care about it don't want to do it going with a good old fave Mac Harmony blush mine keeps doing this thing though where like this part gets like weird and hard and like you get no product off of it and I have to keep scraping it. And then like a week later it's back to this. So don't know what's up with that. This tone is really nice with this hair that I have going on. I'm gonna take Max Blush Baby Blush right there. I S2G if I'm not in focus. Blush Baby, I keep forgetting to use it because it's in this palette, but it is so pretty. So pretty. I was about to be like, well, we don't need a glow, but we need a glow. So I'm gonna do Becca Opal. Oh, we're gonna talk about that too. We're gonna talk about strobing. And we're gonna talk about how much the current makeup trends really suck if you have oily skin. And I know that I think, I feel like it was a couple years ago or like maybe even just like a year and a half ago when like matte everything was just like, super in and like I know matte lips are still in. I feel like everything now that's coming out is for like like Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea. Like everything is just like for dewy skin finish and like all this stuff. If I put that on my face I'm gonna look like a freak. And I get it that we need to share the wealth. We need to expand the collections for everyone but like come on. I haven't seen a good foundation for people with oily skin in a while because I heard like the velvet matte skin tint like, I used it and I do like it, but it gets so oily. But I feel like it would be nice on people with dry skin, but I don't know, because some people say it clings to dry patches. So then I'm kind of left confused who that's for. But I guess there are some people on this earth with normal skin, which, um, good for them, because not me. I'm kind of liking how this makeup turned out today. My pores are, like, very smoothed over. I think it's the primer, though. 
I can't remember. It's literally been so long since I used that Benefit BB cream that I don't remember if it sinks into pores or like helps pores or what it does to your pores. I feel like since my hair is red, the only thing that I can pull off are like nude colors. So I'm just going in with a uh, NYX liquid lingerie, the usual one in, uh, what is this, satin something, ruffle trim. Like I've been alternating between this and Velvet Teddy. All right, so that is it for this chatty get ready with me. I think I did a good job actually talking about topics that were not makeup. But I mean, I guess that could be boring for some of you. So just let me know down below if you prefer when I talk about just makeup or if you liked this style where I talked about a few different topics. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a comment down below or like it so that I know. Uh, what else? Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.